this in it. Okay. Well, he was supposed to cut it in like one fell sweep. Swoop? Hey guys, welcome to All Sorts of Adventure. Nate here, my better half Sarah, is down in Southern Alaska coaching basketball things. Before we get into army stuff for this vlog, um, this is John. What's John's up guys? been in a ton of All Sorts of Adventure videos and uh, John has a really cool project he's working on that I want to give you guys a sneak peek into because it's going to be all over our channel soon. But John, what are you doing May 16th? May 16th, we're rucking for awareness from Fairbanks to Denali. And how far is that? It's about 125 miles south, so from Fairbanks to Denali National Park. Okay, so he's doing a 125-ish mile movement in four days to raise awareness for CRPS. And he's asked me to help him out, and we're going to make a cool project. And there's going to be a lot more to come, about, to come with that, which you guys should definitely know about. With that, um, we're out here in John's backyard. Um, the vlog is all about the active duty army versus the reserves. So without de de delving too much into it, this will not be my sentimental story for my time in the army. That'll be in a future video. This video is really just gonna be about comparing some of the differences between reserves and active duty, which I was beforehand. Some of the things that I'm gonna be talking and comparing are gonna be things that, such as the workload, the difference between the two, which kind of coincides with the time, the time requirement of each. Um, PT, PT is a big one, big difference. And then the benefits, obviously, between being a full-time soldier and uh, a weekend warrior. So those are some of the things that I'll be kind of talking about and comparing. And um, hopefully there'll be some clarity as to the differences. Okay, wow, it's way brighter than I thought it was gonna be. So we're gonna wake up and go get this, this beautiful face ready and I'm gonna go army today. Okie dokie here. Okay, so the differences between Army and Reserves. Um, back home now eating some lunch. So let's start talking about, let's preface first. I've been in the Army about, I joined the active duty about five years and now I've been in the Reserves for about five months. So I haven't seen every part of the Army, I haven't been everywhere, and I haven't done everything. But that being said, I'm gonna be very objective, fairly objective in some of this analysis and hopefully try and communicate some of the differences between the two and clarify some things. Maybe you're wanting to join the military, army reserves or the army active duty. Hopefully this will help you in deciding. It's very important to understand that expectation management is very important in the military, um, especially if you are being promised things from a recruiter or other people who did things in the military. Um, expectation management is important because, two, experiences may vary. I was a medic attached to an infantry battalion. My experience as, a, as an infantry medic varied greatly from that of a medic who's in the hospital. The workload is going to be very different. Active duty army, especially, again, being part of infantry, uh, there were things like vehicles that have to be maintained. There were medical tasks and skills that had to be maintained. I had to train my guys to do things. There were not only infantry things I had to be knowledgeable and aware of with the unit, but also medical things. Being pulled in a lot of different directions, you have to be proficient in a whole, uh, a whole lot. Whereas with the reserves, I am with a medical detachment now. I, again, only work 16 hours a month, so there's expectations on what is able to be achieved in that time. And it is much more manageable. Now they have their trade-offs, which such as benefits and such, which I'll get into later, but workload, the workload's different. Think about that if workload is something you're thinking about. After that, I mentioned time. Those two kind of coincide. 
they're putting in a lot more time with active duty than you are with the reserves. Now, you can get a lot more done in active duty because, I mean, you live and breathe Army and now reserves. I put my uniform on once a month. I stay up on PT, which I'll talk a little bit more about, but I show up for that, those 16 hours, those two days, and I do training to stay current as a soldier in the reserves. So the time commitment is different. Either way, you're gonna have to go to basic training, you're gonna have to go to do your advanced individual training, or AIT, which basic training being two months, and then for me as a medic, it was an additional six months. So do the math, how far, how long are you gonna be gone? Different jobs are gonna require different time commitments in regards to your initial training, but once you come back to your unit, active duty, you'll be doing active duty things, putting in the same time for the workload I mentioned, like 60 hours a week maybe, and then reserves, you might be doing only, I mean, you're only gonna be doing the one weekend a month. So hopefully that kind of makes sense. Time and workload is much more demanding on the active duty than reserves. Okie dokie. So now we're actually here at the reserve unit. I've got to finish up some things, but we still have two points to finish, and that was PT and the benefits. So up until this point, I already compared kind of the workload and the time that comes with both those. Now the PT, PT is a huge difference between active duty and anything else, reserves, National Guard, whatever else it might be. With all the extra stuff and the time that you're committed to in the active duty, that comes with PT every morning. So for me, it was 0630 till 0745 or 08. Um, PT was to be conducted. Whereas now now the reserves, PT is pretty much done at the individual level. So the, we might have unit mandated PT, but again, there's only so much that there's so much that has to be accomplished in 16 hours, whatever the the weekend, that PT might not be the biggest priority because of all the admin work. So PT is important for both because both require you to pass the same PT test, but with all the time that's allotted in active duty, I mean it is a huge job requirement with everyday rigors that you be able to perform that job. So PT is conducted every morning. Reserves, it's much more on the individual. Fourth and final thing is the benefits. There is a trade-off with giving so much to the active duty army. All the time, the workload that you get, and all the PT that you conduct, there's, there's, there's a benefit to it. And that's both active duty and the guard or reserve, whatever, are gonna have similar, the same benefits, except the guard or the reserve is gonna have a much more reduced level of benefits, if that makes sense. So both are gonna have education, health insurance, life insurance, uh, both are gonna compensate you for your time, obviously. Anyways, both have benefits. And so, if you're trying to determine which one you should do, whether it's guard or reserves or active duty, Look at the benefits and try and figure out where you're at and if whichever benefits most line up with your um, with your goals, whether it be like your time you want to commit to school or the time you want to actually be doing after duty stuff, moving around, traveling, crazy life experiences, whatever. Try and figure out based on, again, time workload, PT is a big factor, and benefits, which one's right for you. I think I segued that into uh, kind of making a decision. So, um, my day in the reserves is done, and so that means that's the end of this video. Uh, I'm gonna come in tomorrow to finish my drill th for this month, but hopefully I gave some clarification on the differences between the two and some of the similarities even. So if Sarah were here, she'd be like, thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. That's something like she would say, but I'm not nearly as charming as her, so I'm just gonna say, hey guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next video. All Sorts of Adventure is all about making adventures everywhere we're at, and I mean, you can't help but try and make an adventure out of the army. I mean, it'll do it for you. So with that, guys, see you next week.